So I think the impact program is, is really revolutionary. I think a lot of times within medicine, it's more so focused on yourself and your own goals, but you know, this really flips the uh, paradigm to say, how can we be more outward focused in trying to create more opportunities for others to thrive? I think it's such an amazing opportunity to add value. And I think that's at the base of what every medical student wants to do is to add value and to, to ch make change in someone's life. So I think it's, you know, there's both um, practical and educational reasons for this. I think residency is becoming increasingly competitive and they're looking for people who have done projects outside. And that's something that Michigan is uh, very much emphasizing throughout its entire curriculum and through the examples of mentors here is that yes, you're going to be a doctor and you're going to be a very well-trained doctor, but what else do you want to do with that outside of the hospital? I was asked about it at every single residency interview without fail. They were like, what is, what's this fellowship that you did? You know, this seems really cool. And so it gives you a, a great talking point. It also, I think, helps set you apart from other other candidates. It sort of came about that the community services that already existed were in need of some sort of medical outreach for people who are struggling with housing insecurity. So right now we are working on developing a curriculum and have actually kind of developed a curriculum to make this a sustainable effort and have actually longitude and involvement through every, through all the clinical branch time. What we want to do eventually is, you know, have at least a little bit of exchange between being able to see what street medicine is like in big urban centers versus, you know, small towns that are, um, you know, that still regularly discharge homeless people back to the street and not having regular follow-up or making sure that they get housing and then having a doctor or a nurse or someone come visit them. That involved eight months mainly on the clinical ethics service, but I also got a chance to put together uh, a two-week online course as an introduction to medical ethics for medical students. I got to do some research with one of my mentors in the Department of Neurology around decision-making and acute stroke uh, and a kind of survey of public opinion around cases of medical futility. And so, you know, I it got to bring a lot, together a lot of things that I was really passionate about and got to really explore fully uh, in the course of my medical school career. And so my idea was um, to create a curriculum for fourth year students and first year students who are involved in mentorship so that they're able to better serve in those roles as medical students. That'll lead them to be more effective mentors um, as residents. But in addition, while I was doing that, I was like, okay, well, how can I have some more direct impact? And so how can we create a structure in which they get enabled to um, have those experiences? And that was through the Future Physicians Summit. Making sure you cultivate that passion and cultivate that empathy and care is really, really important. And having this opportunity to connect with that again and connect with the reasons that I went to medical school has been really just invigorating, I would say, and empowering. If you have imagination and you're willing to find people who can support you, you can really do almost anything you want in your fourth year of medical school.